So we ream, we start by reaming straight down medially and then we go in the plane of the acetabulum and then anteriorly, posteriorly and superiorly. And this is until we get it rough to touch but that's not big enough yet. We'll go up to a 48. take a little bit off here. By taking out this piece of bone here, we end up with this superior cement bone interface being horizontal or upwards medially and that means that it's loaded in compression and not shear. It will increase the area of contact of the cement to the bone and it gives the surgeon a tactile point to feel when he's <coughs> manually pressing the cement into the bone avoiding the medial acetabulum, which is always the danger area. We work our way around from the symphysis all the way around to the ischium. And then we would clean it out with some pulse lavage and possibly peroxide or adrenaline. Here's the cup that we're going to use. I've reamed to a 48, so I'm going to use a 40 socket. There's a wire marker on the socket. We turn it upside down and the wire marker goes in the hole, rotated round and it clicks into place. Now either I'll do this while the cement's being mixed or the nurse will do it if I'm dealing with a bit of soft tissue that's in the way or anything else while she's standing waiting. It doesn't matter who puts it on. If we take the cup holder, we're doing a left hip so we want to see the letter L on top that fits on when it goes in the long posterior wall is posteriorly we ream to 48 I'm going to cut about 50 and it, the easiest way to do it is to cut it upside down with plaster scissors don't try and use Mayo scissors because they won't cut this plastic plaster scissors do it very nicely and you can actually lean the scissors against the inner cup and round it goes, you get your rim of plastic coming off. You can check the position of that and it fits just inside the bone of your acetabulum and that's the position it's going to go. And by reaming about eight millimeters more than the cup, you have a complete cement mantle and you won't bottom out. The flange, I'm looking to see where it's sitting once it's in place and there should be a little rim of bone anteriorly superiorly and posteriorly and by doing that you won't get psoas impingement on these patients. That's the position the cup is going to go in and you can use a triangle to check the position on the top. For the people who've been used to using cups with cement beads on the back then you can use much less of a reaming than you would when you haven't got it. If you use a 48 reaming and you've used a cup which is 48 if you've got cement beads it will stop it botting them out but the, the cement beads do not help with the pressurization all they do is they stop it from bottoming out what I'm trying to do is get the cement interdigitated with the bone before we put the cup in and because of the flange and the slight late insertion of the cup it will not bottom out because the the flange works like a parachute in the cement and stops it going down. So what we're going to do now is mix the cement. It's CMW2 fast setting. Once it's mixed, I will take the cement about 45 seconds to a minute. We'll put in half to two thirds of the cement and pressurize till two minutes. Add the rest of the cement after finger packing. And we'll put the cup in by three minutes. OK, we'll start to mix the cement now. Go. The cement featured in this video is Depew CMW2, a facetting cement suitable for use with small or easily accessible joints. 
Final setting times can be found in the IFU provided. It should only be mixed in a bowl type system. It is not suitable for application by syringe. When mixing, always follow the manufacturer's instructions. The cement should be applied to the bone as soon as it can be handled, usually around one minute from the start of mixing. And here's the first bit of cement, 45 seconds to a minute is going in. I've wet the pressurizer so that it doesn't stick to the cement. One minute. And we're now pressurizing at one minute. You've got till about three minutes to have the cup in position. So we're at one minute fifteen now. Still pressurizing. Can I just take the rest of the cement in my hand? So I'm getting a feel of the cement and it's starting to go to the level that it's not sticking so we can take this off. Clear away any extra cement. Pressurize with your finger into the keyholes and into the area that you've taken away with your Kaepner gouge. There's no blood here but in real life we would dry it off. Add the rest of the cement at two minutes or how much you need to do. Pressurize again just to get the two bits of cement to join to each other. That's only for a few seconds. We can take away any extra cement from around the edge. And now the cup, it's two minutes 15, the cup's going to go in. The cup goes in in a closed position. We go in as far medially as we can. You can see the cement coming around the top of the cup. At that point, I just press the cement under the flange and without pushing on the cup, bring it into the correct orientation. And now I'm just holding it in position. Faye, can you come in and hold the cup holder for me? It's 2.45, the cement is going. We can get rid of the extra cement. And now I'm feeling with either a Cocker's or a McDonald's, have I still got that little bit of bone front superior and back, which I have, and that means I know that we're in the right orientation. You take the pusher. I can check at the top, hand away. The orientation, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, which means I'm anti-verting about 35 degrees. Off you come with that one. In we go with there. That's for you. And we're three and a half minutes. We can take away any extra cement and the cement is nearly set. We've still got our rim all the way around. We know we haven't bottomed out. That's the practice position that we were in. And the cement is just at the stage now coming up to four minutes when it's quite hard to indent it. So we're just waiting for the cement to set. That's four minutes, and it's really quite hard. And in the body at four minutes, you'll find the cement is pretty well set. That's not going to go anywhere now. 4.15 4 minutes 30 and it's going hard now out you come with that check round there's no bits of cement check there's no osteophytes and if they are take them off and that's your cup cemented in position <laughs>